Okay, this is this like third time I'm recording this video, but I just got back from the gym and I'm sweating and I just saw that I hit a thousand subs and I never thought I would do that. So I had to get on here and thank you guys so much for following me on this journey for hopping along. I honestly, I did not think that this would ever happen for this channel. It's not really what I even, it's not really what I had conceived of. So to hit a thousand people and have you guys stick around is very, very cool. So thank you to each and every single one of you. Uh, in this video, I've had people talking to me and asking me about like, what do you use for your Linux system? And this is such a freebie for me. I figured why not? Let's do a thousand sub special. I'll show you what I'm running on my desktop for all of my apps and all that stuff. Uh, and also I wanna do an AMA cause why not? It's my channel and those are fun. So if you post comments in the comment box below on this or any other video for the next week, I will respond to them in a AMA format uh, because they're fun. So without further ado, let us get into it. I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller. Hopefully, there we go. And yeah, so this is my desktop. This is what you see when I log in every single day. It is a Hyperland window manager that I'm running. Um, I used to run BSPWM with the SXHKD stack, all that stuff, uh, polybar, whatever. Um, but I think that the Linux environment is going the way of Wayland and I figured why not? I think for the last few years, it hasn't been totally ready yet. Um, I mean, I guess it's debatable if it's ready now, but I am running Hyperland and I have been for the last like six months having no issues with it whatsoever. Um, so yeah, this is my, like, this is my daily driver. This is what I used to do work. This is what I used to code. This is what I used to write, make videos, everything. This is Kitty, my terminal of choice. Uh, she's very pretty. She has, let me see here, Neo Fetch. I'm running Fedora 40. Let's zoom in a little bit. Fedora 40 on this uh, laptop. It's my travel computer. I bring it around everywhere. I used to run Arch. I might go back to Arch. I don't know. I might go back to Debian, to be honest with you. I, I don't really care about the distro that much. I hopped a lot in my earlier days, and I think it's kind of behind me now just because I want to get work done. I want to, like, settle in, get something that works for me, and just, like, do work. So this is kind of my... Zen computing system that I've developed over the years that has really helped me not do that stuff anymore. And I mean, I'm always tweaking, I'm always changing stuff up a little bit, but it's not nearly to the uh, extent that it used to be. So anyway, yeah, this is the computer I'm running, ThinkPad T14, uh, Gen 3, whatever, 32 gigs of RAM, yeah. It's a nice computer. I, I like the ThinkPads. I am not a fanboy as much as I used to be. Um, battery life on this thing, not great. Not great. So I am open to suggestions. Anyway, I am very TUI CLI centric. I made a video about how I used Emacs to do my writing of my book. And I love Emacs. I don't know if I'm gonna go back to it or not. I actually jumped off of Emacs beginning of this year to go full terminal workflow. The issues I had with Emacs are a couple. There's, it's monolithic, it's very heavy. A um, little bit easier to use NeoVim in the server. It's NeoVim's faster. And NeoVim seems to have like a lot of development on going for it. And I kind of wanted to get in on that. Um, the thing too is that the terminal in Emacs is a second class citizen. I don't know if anybody else has experienced this. I used VTerm. I mean, maybe it's different with the different terminals because there are other ones, but I always felt that the terminal was like an afterthought in Emacs. And I love the terminal and it's a lot easier to use in a terminal than it is to use in Emacs. Uh, I had issues like copy and pasting, uh, pulling stuff out and it's probably user error, but I, I don't know. I switched back to a terminal. I have no issues with it and I like it. So, uh, that's being said, I use NVim all day, every day for all of my editing and such. Uh, let's just go out of here and yeah, actually, sorry, let's get into this here for a second too. So uh, this is a starship prompt. I want to say this is a custom starship prompt. I, I don't know. It looks pretty. 
Uh, and I use ZSH as the shell. Um, I don't know. I, I'm probably going to get hate comments on this for using ZSH, not bash. It works. I don't know. Um, let, let something else I use a lot of is FCF and I script FCF to do a lot of things. So like if I want to edit a file, like my today file in my vault and stuff, here it is very, very easy to get to. That was from my home folder. It's like nested in there. Easy to get to. I use FCD. This is a shout out to, uh, my guy bugs writer. I copied you. This is a great little FCF thing. I want to get somewhere. Let's say I want to go to my task titan there you go so like switching directories and stuff with fcf oh so nice it's gotten to the point where i really don't use a file manager that much anymore um when i do i use thunar for graphical stuff whatever and um i use rain not ranger excuse me used to use ranger i use yazi which is a a clone of lf and ranger written in rust and it's nice it's really good actually uh they built in previewing fast, quick, like it just, honestly, it's nice. I, I really like it. And if I'm using a file manager, it's between those two. Thunar is nice to be able to like, um, copy and paste stuff, move files into graphical environments and all that stuff. Yazzie is really nice for just like bulk movements and deletions and all that stuff. So that is what I'm using. Uh, we'll go back to NVIM here for a second. I'm just going to show you my convig. Uh, I'm using Zoxide, if you see that little Z there, because I'm Canadian, Z. Zoxide to get around the file system, which is nice because it remembers where you are. So whenever I like give it a directory, NVIM, Hyperland, whatever, gets me there real quick. So anyway, uh, NeoVim, my plugins for NeoVim, I'm using Conform, DadBod, Harpoon, shout out to the Primogen, uh, Hop to get around files really quick, indent, blank line, Lua rocks, these are kind of like defaults, I want to say. Markdown previews, uh, I use it a lot for writing. So if you go see my blog, it's all like written in Markdown and it's all Markdown previewed beforehand. So I can just see like how the structure is. It looks really nice. Uh, Markdown NVIM, I think just like pretties up the Markdown, I want to say. Mason, I want to say, is a language server management tool. I could be wrong. I don't really use it that much. Noise makes uh, NVIM look nice, I guess. Uh, notify sends notifications, Obsidian. I use Obsidian, um, in NeoVim and I use the front end very, very rarely on my phone, but I don't use the front end on my desktop. I like it because it's kind of like a, it's an org roam. It, it's like org roam. Uh, so I'm used to like linking files together and I like that like neuronic, <laughs> the, the neuron map that you get of all your files linked together. I think that's very cool. But I mean, I don't really use the front end, uh, but it is nice as a back end because it gives you auto completes and it gives you whatever. Like you can you can link to different files very, very easily in it. And I like it. So I use Obsidian as my like note taking um, second brain, everything for that. I, honestly, I have a, like a vault of notes and that is where all of my writing, everything. I spend a lot of my time in that vault uh, directory. Uh, org mode. I have a lot of legacy stuff written in org mode because I was obviously Emacs user since like 2020. Um, and yeah, like I like org mode, uh, but I'm, I'm working on like a, a task warrior spiritual successor in that, uh, task Titan thing I was showing a little bit earlier. And I don't know. Org mode is nice. It is nice. I, I can't fault it. But yet the, it, it just didn't scratch the itch and I don't know how to, I don't know how to go about it. But anyway, org mode, I still have like legacy stuff. So I, if I need to parse it or go through it, very, very easy. And I, yeah, I use NV chat as like a baseline for NeoVim. Vim B count I am using for accounting. I got to get better at accounting. My accountant hates me. So I thought this year would be the year to do it. Maybe next year. But yeah, Vim Bean Count is actually really good software for plain text accounting. And there is a huge community regarding plain here, plain, plain text accounting is a huge community. Like there's like resources, and tons of stuff about it. Interesting. You could spend your whole life on it, I'm sure. Uh, and then Zen mode for writing. Don't really use that that much. 
uh, let's go to my, so I call my setup logos, uh, as some people understand the reference, but yeah, so this is the kind of the structure of everything that I use, uh, dunce for notifications. So if I send notify, send just hello, that little thing in the top, right, that is dunced and it does all my music switching and makes things look nice. Album switch, whatever there's, uh, album artwork and everything in there. It's, it's nice. I like it. I, as you can see, I am using Tmux and I use Tmux from startup. I use Tmux all the time. It is the kind of the baseline. It, I think of Tmux as my, in my terminal as just, it's always there. Um, reason being is that because if I ever accidentally quit out of something, I can go back to it very easily. If I, if my computer crashes, I generally save my Tmux sessions so I can just load them back up and resurrect them. It's awesome. When I'm on the server, I use Tmux to run stuff concurrently. I have, there's many servers that I have that I have like running whatever, IRC and everything. Tmux is great. If you're not using Tmux, you should learn how to use Tmux because it is, once you get it, you get it and you're like, oh, my life is so much better now. <laughs> so uh, that or new screen, new screen, I, I don't, screen, I, I don't know. Tmux seems to be the, the industry standard though. Anyway, back to this. Uh, so yeah, Dunst is that. Hyper is the the window manager. We are using Hyper Idle just for uh, kicking us out to the lock screen with Hyper Lock. And then our backgrounds with is managed rather with uh, Sway BG. Sorry for the motorcycle out there. Uh, we're not really using, using Cal currently. Kitty is the terminal that we're in. Kmonad. I, I am actually going to link my configuration for Kmonad in the show notes. I have a ThinkPad Kmonad that might be useful to one of you. I don't know. I love Kmonad because I use some esoteric key binds and mappings now that are not really available on a QWERTY keyboard. So it is, it's godsend. It's awesome. It's great software. Amazing. MPD and see the, yeah, if you know the, you know, you know, these are the, uh, the music, the music players and, uh, oh yeah. RuneScape original classics. If you're, um, if you're doing some work, run some RuneScape original classics and you will grind, you will grind. Let's go back to here. Neomut. Oh yeah. I'm using Neomut. I'm not going to show you that just cause I have all my emails in there, but it is my mail client of choice. Uh, this is my dock. Uh, it's not showing up. I don't really use it. It looks nice. It's It looks like the GNOME dock. Um, I don't know. I don't use it. It makes my computer usable for people that don't know Hyperland. Qubit torrent, torrenting, Linux, ISOs, Ranger, I don't even use. Uh, goodbye, Ranger. Tmux, uh, those are just my plugins for it. This is some scripting. Waybar is the bar you see at the top with all the information. Wolfie is my Rofi Wayland launcher. Zathura is a PDF reader. Uh, very common in the Linux community to use because it's got Vim key bindings by default. You can make it look nice. Um, yeah, that's really all of my configs for what I use. I guess I'll show you my Firefox. For some, re some reason, Fedora is my home. My screen recording crashed. Sorry. Sorry, I was saying that Fedora is my homepage. I don't know why. I just haven't changed it. Uh, so plugins. So I have the Violet Monkey for that is for image boards and stuff. Vimium because I like Vim. So just scrolling around with the keyboard. U block origin and U matrix or micro matrix. I don't know how to pronounce it. It is, I just been using it for the last month or so. And <laughs> you, you go to websites and you're like, I have a hundred scripts loading before I can even load this basic website. It, it breaks like nearly every website on the internet and it's, it's awesome. So yeah, <laughs> literally Fedora's website, <laughs> there's how many, 10, 10 scripts running it that don't even need to be running. Uh, I still don't care about cookies and decentralized. So yeah, that is, um, that is everything that I'm running on my Firefox or plugins and that, but yeah, that's my computer. And thank you guys again, one more time for a thousand subscribers. 
hanging out with me, seeing what I'm doing. It's, um, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So we'll catch you in the next video and, uh, yeah, like subscribe and peace.